Duke Nukem, step aside. The real king has arrived. Arguably the greatest footballer of all time and definitely the greatest attacker, Pelé even has the clout for his likeness to be put on the cover of a video game. However, if the game spoke for his tremendous skill on the pitch, it would be, quite frankly, a tremendous insult. Not to be confused with Pelé soccer for the Atari 2600, Pelé, exclamation point, is packed in a cartridge that serves both the Sega Genesis in the USA and the Mega Drive, particularly popular in Brazil. I remember huge video game stores called Tech Toy all over Rio during my travels there as a lad, and they are still around, but they got their big boost in business by selling Sega products during the late 80s and early 90s. Pele has some strengths in its production, and I was mainly impressed with the team selection. You were able to select clubs from all across the globe, the biggest concentration of clubs being in the South American continent. But you can even choose from the top European clubs in England, Italy, and Spain, and even in Africa, with clubs stretching from the Sahara to as far as South Africa. You can mix up your formations to suit your situation better, and King Pele will even offer his knowledge about each tactic. When the game begins, it's likely that you might just kick it to the other team. Your aim must be spot on to avoid nasty slip-ups like making your keeper throw the ball to an awaiting attacker, which is how I get scored on all the time in this game. If something stops the action, a short animation pops up, such as the official tooting his whistle or a goal celebration. Also, it doesn't matter who scored a goal on either team, according to the animation, Pelé scored it every time. Movement is isometric, but it feels like you're going a hell of a lot faster when you're holding down a diagonal direction. Hell, you can sprint with your fullback and make it right to the doorstep, which is where the toughest part of the game comes in. Finishing. After playing this game a few hours, it didn't matter if Pelé himself was all alone on goal. I can never tuck the ball past the keeper, and every golden opportunity was pretty much wasted. Call it a lack of skill, but this is most of the reason I gave this game low marks. There's nothing more deflating than producing chance after chance, only to see your striker miss wide each and every time. Hell, I couldn't even get penalty shots down, Pat. Every time, the keeper would not only save it, he'd catch it, leaving no room for a rebound. In a nutshell, Pelé is a game that is horrifically unforgiving, the kind of experience that makes Brazilians describe it to their friends as... Uma bosta. Do yourself a favor and pick up FIFA International Soccer instead if you want a good isometric football experience. It's pretty much the same game except you can score in it.